Good morning. This is the first course in ICEM Hexa. ICEM is a pre-processing software for CFD analysis from ANSYS. It's one of the most powerful pre-processing softwares out there in the market today. Being powerful, it's also very difficult to learn on, on your own. Uh, its difficulty stems from the fact that it, it, it takes a different approach to meshing. And uh, the, the, the motive of this course is to train the student into an, and the, a new user in, in a much more efficient way of tackling complex geometries using ICEM hexa. Please note that the course concerns only with the hexahedral aspect of meshing using ICM. The tetrahedral mesh, which is much more easier to learn, won't be covered in this course. My name is Vishal Anand and at the time of making of this video, I am a PhD student at Purdue University in the US. My expectations from the student is that they should learn the modules sequentially. They should not skip the modules as in you should first start with the first module, module 1 and then go on to module 2, module 3 and so on. Please do not skip the modules. And also there has been a presentation uploaded in the description part of this video. The presentation explains in detail the various options available in the ICM CFD GUI. So you should read the presentation in tandem with the video lectures. The video lectures will solve certain geometries as an example for you and that's how they will teach you how to do the meshing. But for a detailed present, detailed uh, aspect, you should please read the presentation which has been attached with this video. So we are on module 2 now. We are discussing some intermediate geometries. The geometries discussed in this module are uh, much more complex than those discussed in module 1. But they are derived from the module 1 geometries only. So it's important to be uh, good at module 1 before you go on to module 2. Uh, the geometry discussed in this particular video is of that of a T-junction. We will see that in a couple of minutes. Uh, this, this geometry uh, is an extension of the geometry of the 90 degree elbow bend which we dis discussed in module 1. So before we uh, go on to this video lecture, it's important for you to uh, have a good understanding of the geometry of 90 degree elbow bend discussed in module 1. So this is the geometry. This is how the geometry will look like. This is a T-junction. This is used in many pipelines. Uh, the pipelines uh, uh, as a fitting, uh, uh, as a way to uh, make uh, pipes from three different di directions converge. It's a very common geometry. Uh, First, let us discuss the blocking philosophy behind this. Uh, we, will, uh, we will initialize the block and split it in, uh, to capture the shape of the geometry, something like this. Uh, you see, uh, I have made a, a, a split uh, which is very close to this vertical pipe. And then again, one more split here. And then I deleted the block here. And uh, similarly, once, uh, once, uh, one, uh, one split here, and then I deleted the block here. So this way I, I, I will be able to capture the geometry of T-junction and then we can associate the edges. And uh, we got lucky here that there is a curve uh, at this junction as well. So we can associate this edge to this curve. This will help in better, uh, this will help the block to grasp the, uh, the geometry uh, in a much more uh, tighter way. Uh, after that, uh, we might try to improve the quality of the mesh by building an O-grid through, through, through the geometry. Uh, this, this geometry is not a, a straight cylinder. Uh, there, there are two cylinders uh, which are perpendicular to each other. So we will see how, how do we create an O-grid through, through two cylinders which are perpendicular to each other in this, in this video lecture. So let's go on to the ICEM GUI after this initial discussion of blocking philosophy. This is the geometry in ICAM GUI. For, for a speedy tutorial, I have already made the parts. I will just go through it in, in a quick quick way. 
uh, this is the vertical surface uh, this is the horizontal surface and these are the two inlets the, these are the two inlets and this is the outlet this 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 surface is the outlet and of course the curves and and the points have been grouped together in a in separate parts of their own so this is the uh, this is how the geometry looks like in icem and the corresponding parts i already went through so without uh, much ado let's go, go on with the blocking we will uh, create a block here and say air and then say apply uh, the part name air is created now after we created the block and uh, so this is the usual block uh, 3d bounded blocks so we will now split the make the splits to capture the geometry uh, as you might have remembered from the previous tut uh, tutorial in module one uh, which was of uh, an elbow bend 90 degree bend we will make a split uh, which will be very close to this edge and then we'll make another split which will be close to this edge so this will help us to capture this term then we'll make another split here to capture this term and then we'll delete these two blocks so the geometry can be captured so i will go to split block here and then edge here so uh so let's keep it in good visualization mode so I keep the edge here and then select the edge here and then make click. Similarly, I select an edge here, then make click. One more touch here, then make click. Get dismissed. So we have uh, we have uh, the splits here and here, and the two corners. Then we we'll delete the block. delete very click apply so we see very quickly and easily we have been able to capture the geometry uh, now we begin our association then apply apply and then dismiss so we have associated the uh, three uh, edges here uh, i mean the edges at the three faces and then uh, as we did for the 90 degree elbow uh, what we can do we can do uh, uh, project vertices project all visible let's let's switch on the vertex display and then say apply so this is how the block looks uh, blocking looks like uh, we, uh, we can move these uh, these eight vertices on the surface to capture the curvature here you see uh, the there is a, a slight tilt in the edge here we can check that and we can also uh, move the vertices here to improve the uh, improve the geometry here uh, but we got lucky here because they, there is a curve at this junction this curve and we can associate the edges to this curve uh, which will make our job a lot easier instead of moving the vertices on our own we can just associate the edges to this curve so we have selected the edges which make this face and then we select the curve so this mess we have been able to capture the this edge so uh, let's let's uh, give a, a edge edge parameter let's say eight here
so we can uh, we have uh, given the node distribution on each edge we will we'll just verify have we done it so there, there is a node distribution on each of the edges and uh, we are fine so we can then go for pre mesh so we, uh, we have a good pre mesh i mean a uh, 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 apparently a good pre mesh the, the the geometry has been captured well the shape of the geometry and the shape of the mesh is coincident uh, but again, we, we run into an old problem. We have bad quality elements here. Uh, I mean, you can do a quality histogram to verify this claim. You see, we have minimum angle is 12.69. That's because it's a fairly coarse mesh. If you make the mesh a finer, uh, the minimum angle will decrease even more. I can do that for you. I, I go to pre-mesh parameters and scale. Uh, scale sizes and I, I will scale with a factor of two a factor greater than one will make the mesh finer so that's what we are interested in I will scale with a factor of two so apply and then again pre-mesh so you see the minimum angle has come down to 6.012 and that's not acceptable so what what we can do is that we can uh, improve the uh, improve the mesh quality here by making an O grid. We select the blocks for the O grid. We are making an O grid. In, in not only these three blocks but also this block which is uh, which is perpendicular to uh, the block here so uh, that should not be a cause of concern because these two blocks are selected so there will be an o-grid which will pass through uh, which will which will pass through this phase the o-grid will be continued in this direction as well as in this direction which means the o-grid will pass through this phase this phase and this phase all the three phases of for this block and then I select the face here here and here so we then we go for a pre-mesh again and we see that the Call. Uh, okay, so before we go for a pre-mesh, we have to give a node distribution on this edge. Okay, let's give uh, as like six. Of the edges, so we see that the quality has improved in the three faces. All the three faces, we uh, we can uh, do a quality pre mesh quality histogram once again and say apply. So the menu angle has improved to 27.81. Earlier it was less than nine, so we can see by making this. Uh, Making this O-grid, we have improved the quality of the mesh. So uh, that's all for this video lecture. Uh, thank you.